Good day everyone, Robert Weimer, the go-to guy of DesireADifference.com. Today we are going to get into changing some of the general settings in your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and bring up our test blog and we will log in with our username and password as you would do. Okay, now a lot of people what they like to do is dive right in and setting up a post. Well, it, that's all well and good and if that works for you then go right on ahead and do that but for me I like to get into some of the back issues so that we can start changing how our blogs read and how our blog looks so we are going to go to the very left hand side to this left hand column and click on our settings now as you can see it reads under site title my blog and under tagline just another WordPress website so we are going to be going ahead and changing this and I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab here so as you can see my blog off to the top left hand side of your site just another WordPress site so we're gonna go ahead and change this right now we're going to call this um, well let's call it um, Let's call it the bookworm. We're going to set this up as a bookstore. And tagline, let's call it, um, let's call it get lost in a book. Granted, <laughs> maybe not the best tagline in the world, but you know, it will suffice for this type of thing. Now, your tagline, what you need to think of that as, is in a few as words as possible, or just a single sentence, your unique selling point for your particular site. Your tagline has got to embody the entire WordPress or your entire website. Kind of sums it up in all one, one brief sentence. So what we are going to do is we're going to do this and we are going to go ahead and change our email address because this is your contact information it's used um, for administrative purposes to let you know about new users or comments that sort of thing and we'll be getting into that a little bit later but for right now I'm going to go ahead and put my own email address in here and we are going to not we do not want to check it up that anyone can register we want to make that oh sort of oh exclusive I guess you could say now you new user defaults now the wonderful thing about WordPress and this is a great thing for anyone and everyone you can allocate your um, responsibilities to different users. If you have four or five, fifty or five hundred or five thousand, however many people involved in this single website, you can set up as many users as you want and you can give them different administrative rights. Right now the default rights for all this is a subscriber but I would say that you could probably get into with new users especially if they're going to be managing the site you could set them up as an author or an editor now administrator has absolute full control over WordPress and I would strongly strongly suggest that you be careful who you assign that to because well looking at worst case scenario if you got a person who is administrator they can lock you out if they so chose but in any case it gives you several different um, user user rights that you can work with so that's something there um, with the time zone I would definitely check where you are I am on a UTC 6 which I believe is central standard and on the date format the date format is important because whenever you post a page or post a blog it tells you and it also helps the search engines how this is 
spread. Um, very good for spidering and that sort of thing. So we're going to leave it at its default December 3rd, 2010. As really not very many people do that. Now you can get into the custom, customization, that sort of thing. And if we look at the documentation on date formatting, if you really wanted to get into that, it gives you all the variables and what you can do with them. Um, you can get really, really into uh, customizing your date, and that is the wonderful power of WordPress. It allows you choice, and but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to leave everything just the way it is. Now, you have your time format, 11.53 p.m. You can make it all caps. You can put it in military time. And again, you have a customization feature. Now, you can decide to choose the week starts on whichever day that you want. So, keeping in mind that we've changed this, the bookworm get lost in a book. We've changed that. Let's go ahead and save our settings. It takes a little while. Usually if you're on a good host, such as Bluehost, you can, it won't take very much time at all. So we're going to go back and we're going to refresh this. And see, our title has changed. The Bookworm. Get lost in a book. Now, if you will look at the very top of your browser, you will see the, work, the Bookworm and this wonderful vertical line, it's called the vertical pipe, get lost in a book. Now, this is how it's really nice in a WordPress website to do your tags or do your lines like this. Now, if you wanted to make your search engines love you to death, it's good to have variations on your tagline. And we do that by sticking in another vertical pipe. The vertical pipe for aesthetic reasons makes it very easy to read to the viewer but it also serves a dual purpose because the spiders, those little robots, those little programs that search the web and index the web for Google, they love vertical pipes. Let me show you something. We're gonna go ahead get lost in a book. Um, let's see, find another world in the pages of a good book. And we're going to put in another vertical pipe. Um, let's see. Books are a gift. Now, what the little spiders do is that they read each one of these little sections between the vertical pipe. This is great for search engine optimization and that is very important for getting your site found. And we're going to go ahead and save changes and we are going to go back and we are going to refresh now, as you will see, there are several tags that we've got up here. And depending upon your theme, this tagline will look a little bit different. And we'll see that once we start changing out our themes. But if you look in the title bar in your browser, you'll see another one of these. You'll see them all across the title bar. And it's important to make them as descriptive as possible. Sort of the most descriptive chunks of words that you can associate with your website. Search engines love them. I highly suggest that you do it. So, we go back here. Oh, it might be important to say, you can get a little crazy with them and you don't want to. Now, I would suggest that for, um, unless you're wanting to get into really geek nerdy mode, I would leave the WordPress address URL and the site address URL as is. Um, you can go ahead and get into information on what it does, how to change it, and that sort of thing. And again, all I had to do was clicking, all I had to do was just click on the link. But trust me, um, if you if you want to get into that, that's fine. But as it stands right now, I would just leave everything at its default. So, what we have gone through is the general the general settings on your WordPress website. 
I'm Robert Weimer, the go-to guy, and if you want any more information, you can contact me at robert at desireadifference.com or sign up for my weekly newsletter. I would love to send stuff out to you, and I would also love to hear from you. Thanks, and have a wonderful and profitable day.